Okay, um, I entitled uh, uh, my talk Second Life. In fact, he forgot one thing. I did a master in psychology, and after I become a bad boy. I change, I move, and from psychology to sociology. Uh, and this uh, uh, topic of the experimental restaurant uh, uh, allowed me to uh, read again and to remit uh, some uh, uh, classical piece of work I have studied uh, uh, in the past, and uh, perhaps there is a second life of this kind of uh, uh, theory. Again, some few words about the context. Uh, uh, we are doing an annual seminar, and uh, it's uh, last year it was a seminar entitled, uh, you remember, uh, uh, research uh, on food studies, in food studies, toward an international network for studying food habit transformation. And uh, Claude, Claude Fischler, and Sadi Lalou was the keynote speakers. And we will see that how the discussion we have had last year is uh, connected with the discussion of this year. Uh, the idea in uh, uh, this seminar uh, are to see what could be the future of we can uh, uh, orient the research in, uh, uh, in the school and uh, how we can uh, deal at the international level. So uh, we did a, a study trip. That's a, a, a picture taken in Lausanne. Uh, it was really interesting. Uh, people opened the door. In Nestle, it's not so often for this kind of research, because it's quite uh, uh, sensitive research. Same in Paul, in Paul Bocus Institute, really uh, 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 welcome, uh, who was uh, really welcome. And same in Wageningen. Even in Wageningen, they try to sell a little bit the restaurant for the future. Uh, it's normal. It's normal. So, the feeling was very, very clear. There is something, there is something, but uh, uh, probably it was too early. A good idea, very good idea, but probably too early. And why too early? Okay, I, I would like to just give some word uh, uh, again on the context. So, we did this trip, I will uh, review that, and uh, I told this morning that the Ovali project is a, a, the same project uh, uh, developed in Toulouse. We are at the beginning. We get the money. That's a good, uh, uh, a good step. And now we will uh, uh, implement the, uh, the lab. Uh, we are very happy because the CNRS supports this project, financially speaking. And uh, uh, it's an interdisciplinary project. So, and... Uh, the idea is to see how we can connect that with the project of uh, the school, project of NITIA, uh, the project to do something in uh, uh, the sensorial analysis, the restaurant for the future, and so on, is in this school for many years. Uh, uh, now we can see how we can uh, 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 do it in a good way. So you remember that uh, what we tried to do last year is to see how we can uh, set up a network for this kind of research, uh, uh, mainly for the barometer. Uh, uh, that's uh, the step who, uh, which is worthy, uh, that is working at, at, at this time. But we will see for the, bar for, uh, uh, the uh, degustation. So there is a very strong and established knowledge in the face-to-face -face one people, one food drink, wine, uh, 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 cheese, uh, uh, and uh, the student of culinology in this school knows that very well. The student in different uh, 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 programs knows, knows this question. This knowledge is very established. But in this context of research, the context is a parasite variable. We try to create situation where we neutralize the context. Have a look on the degustation rooms, OK? Uh, uh, more and more the, uh, clinical um, uh, uh, ambience, and people test. And I remember we were the first uh, 20 years ago 
in a wine yard in south of France to imagine a degustation in an historical uh, uh, place with uh, around all the, the, the bottle and so on. And at the beginning, everybody said, oh, oh, but it's not science. There is too much historical dimension. Yes, but we can do also. So, and very, very, very big and established knowledge. It's very important. But at the same time, when I drink a, a glass of wine with Claude, I smell the wine and I look at him. Oh, and my face, his face, and we have social interaction. And I discover something, and there is a contamination between us. And, and, and we will build our experience, not only regarding uh, 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 the wine, but regarding what happened, and two, three, four people. And the social interaction are so important, so important that 10 years ago, uh, 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 a very big company uh, uh, selling uh, uh, alcohol in France asked us to develop what we called home degustation or in situ degustation. And there is a lot of work in this world. In Messelman have developed in situ degustation. And in, uh, in Dadon, they have supported several PhD on the home degustation. Yes, that's, but it's something else we'd like to do. Yes, that's the in situ degustation. Uh, uh, how we can take into account, or I can give you an example. Try to do a, a, a test of, uh, it was cognac or it was uh, uh, whiskey. And after we uh, uh, give uh, uh, the, the opportunity of the people to go in the discotheque and we give watcher, they can buy what they want. They don't know that it's a test. In fact, we tell us that they just to uh, thank you and we give uh, something back. And in fact, we analyze what's the choice in the context. And it's slightly different what that they have defined as better when they do the degustation in a room of degustation. What, are, what is common of these three uh, experimental uh, platform of restaurant? Uh, the first things, there is some camera. It's like a, 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 um, you know this show at the TV where you make people living and uh, you have uh, 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 the camera to try to, uh, what's the name of the program? In Big Brother. Big Brother, thank you very much. Okay, it, it's like a little bit like that. So you can, uh, that's the first dimension. The second dimension, for example, in Institute Paul Bocuse, there is a camera also in the kitchen. That means they can analyze what happened in the kitchen and what happened in the restaurant. Uh, we can imagine several kinds of research. We can analyze uh, research in work organization, in ergonomy for the kitchen, uh, uh, social interaction, but we can analyze the food choice and so on. But mainly, we put that in a restaurant. That means uh, it's classical premises, classical restaurant, and you have a, a camera in the ceiling. The second, uh, uh, the third uh, uh, particularity is there is a, a video control room where people can manage and show. I will show you some small example. This one is uh, in French, but we just uh, uh, have a look on the, the premises. The other one will be in English. Uh, uh, that's in Institut Paul Bocuse. And they was doing uh, uh, a research. Okay. They was doing a research to analyze the food choice. And they do, uh, they have two groups. One group, people have a breakfast and go directly to the uh, lunch. And another group, they have breakfast and they have several snacks in the morning and they go to the lunch after and they, uh, they analyze how they organize the lunch. What at this stage, I just would like just, that's the restaurant. Okay, you are in the, in the room, in the monitoring room, and you have people working in the room able to, to observe, to 
go to, to record and so on. <coughs> okay, this uh, research project was funded by the Nestlé Foundation. It was quite a big one, uh, 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 connecting uh, uh, food habits and also medical dimension of the food. And you, uh, a lot of uh, uh, bio biological uh, uh, variable was also collected at this occasion. Okay, this uh, study of, was a, 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 a two years uh, uh, survey. Okay, that's Martin Laville. Martin Laville is the head of the Research Center in Nutrition in, in Lyon. Uh, uh, she's one of the leaders of nutrition in Europe. And the same people who have uh, uh, take, uh, do the degustation was after going to the hospital to uh, 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 make some uh, uh, control. Okay, but these three, uh, when we uh, have a look on the scientific activity of these three uh, uh, premises. The first things, they spend a lot of time. A lot of time watching video. And uh, imagine when you are, uh, 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 you do an observation, you spend an hour, you take notes, you record <coughs> the sound, you uh, transcript, uh, uh, you analyze, uh, semantic analysis and so on, but you have 10 times, 15 times, and the difference, and you need to analyze the difference. It's really uh, 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 difficult. The second one, there is a low scientific productivity. That means we can find some article, I will show you some one, but it, it, it's quite a, a, a few regarding the investment. So, what is the epistemological question? Uh, uh, classically, in the uh, social science, we are working with two kinds of uh, empirical data. What people can say about themselves, the behavior, what they can report, and what we can observe. And uh, we can observe with a different way of observation. We can observe uh, directly, uh, but your way to observe depend a little bit from where, and there is some subjectivity in the observation. And uh, 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 the subjectivity is a good thing, eh? we can open some uh, debate about that. Uh, but there is also uh, a lot of research now where we have new flow of data, of empirical data. Uh, for, for example, uh, the uh, neuroscience have opened new flow of data, and you can have People can say, for example, there is some research on wine. In, uh, uh, you have people uh, who drink wine, explain what they feel, and at the same time they are in an IRM, and we can see uh, what happened in the brain at the same time and try to see if there is connection or, or not. Okay. So this idea to develop a new dimension of the data, a new flow of the data, could be interesting, and the new flow uh, uh, could be, you uh, remember the talk of Sadi last, uh, last year, he, he gave uh, an interesting example. Uh, you observe situation, a work situation, and he, he gives to uh, the people some camera on the spectacles. The first thing, we, you can see somebody and you can see an event. And you can make the consensus. Everybody said, OK, I saw that. After that, you look the uh, other movies coming from the camera on the step spectacle of each actor. And what a surprise. What a surprise. We discover that what we have supposed to be the reason of the action of the main actor, because we have interpreted the situation, coming from what we, we have saw was absolutely different of what we understand when we look the movie 
coming from the spectacle of the person. So the, the uh, uh, thesis of uh, 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 Sadi is uh, there is a subjective camera, who, and this different vision can help us to understand the situation. That means people, and what is very interesting with what Sadi do, he takes the movie and asks to the people to say, okay, what happened? Explain me. And he opens the discussion, and what rebuild the memory, rebuild the remembrance, uh, 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 using the movie uh, as a support of the interview, as a support of the discussion. So we can, uh, even you are a professional of observation, an ethnographist, a sociologist, even you are a professional of that, you can miss a part of uh, this very complex reality. So one of the stakes is how we can add to the two main flow of data, the representation and what people can say about what he is doing and what we can observe from outside, can we add with a new technology a new, new flow of data? When we go to the existing platform, okay, we, uh, we have the Safran project. I just uh, show you the movie. Uh, quite sophisticated, a lot, a lot of work to publish one article in a very good journal, eh, because uh, uh, Paul uh, has managed his journal for 10 years. But uh, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. And a lot of time, a lot of time to produce the data. When we go to Wageningen, and there is a, bi a big team in Wageningen, uh, the scientific production is uh, done beside. Uh, the most uh, they uh, analyze uh, how people go in the free flow restaurant. Uh, uh, but in fact, the best outcome is the visit of the queen and the marketing they can do with uh, this kind of project. In fact, the scientific production is in Wageningen is done beside this equipment. So what are the room of improvement? And that's really the discussion for today and for this afternoon. And I just would like to uh, uh, show some points. The first point, how we can increase the speed of analyze. It's not a progress. If we go from an hour to 15 hours, how we can reduce this time, increase the productivity of the analyze. And, uh, the question is for our colleague uh, from uh, 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 computer science. The second question is, when we look at this uh, restaurant, we immediately understand that the technology is quite old. In fact, uh, we begin to think and to conceptualize. We built one year. We begin to work two years, three years the technology are, have changed in these sectors. So the problem is how we can connect the scientific project with the evolution, the upgrading, with an upgrading system of the technology. The third question is, when we look at this equipment, it's often think in terms of application. We can analyze the influence of the size, we can analyze, and so on. And there is some research objective in terms of problem solution. How we can move more in a scientific question, to a scientific question. But what are the scientific questions we can address in this kind of equipment? So, I will start a little bit from the, the uh, uh, conceptual, conceptualization of the, pro of the project we did for uh, the application in Toulouse and uh, try to uh, uh, generalize. We would like to manipulate the context. That means how we can imagine different contexts and not only the context of the restaurant. That means imagine a sort of theater 
and you can change uh, 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 the context. You can have a family dining room. You can have a, a restaurant, a di fine dining restaurant. You can have a, a canteen for the children. You can have a, 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 a canteen for people working uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, office building. You can have a room, an hospital room. You can have, a, because of Toulouse, uh, 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 an airplane and try to understand what happens when you are very close to the different people and you eat and the, what uh, the influence of the context. And also, in fact, all this infrastructure could help us also to imagine a new way to work with the focus group using this way to record to analyze a very classical technique in uh, social science we call the focus. If we, we go to the scientific question, uh, what could be, how could we can analyze the context? The first dimension of the context is the physical context. The restaurant, the size, for example, a very good PhD thesis was done two years ago showing that uh, the size, the, the, the distance between the table in a restaurant have an influence of what people ordered. And more the size is uh, 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 small, more closer are the, uh, uh, the table, and more the uh, uh, order are the same. There is a mimetism, there is some influence uh, uh, between, uh, 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 and manipulating the, the, uh, the, only the distance is quite funny. It is an observation on six months of uh, uh, concrete life in a restaurant, and we can see this uh, uh, influence. So the context is uh, the physical context, the furniture, is uh, the place, the size, the, the, the form of the table. And we know that uh, uh, a square table versus a round table, a rectangle, uh, 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 don't allow the same communication, the same relation. But the, social, the uh, context is also the social context. Could be uh, uh, different people having a discussion, and we know how uh, uh, analyzing, analyzing uh, uh, the table manner uh, in different uh, uh, food culture is important to understand the structure of the meal, the organization of the table, the form of the table, and the communication network around the table. Who is giving who, what for who? Who is giving what kind of discussion? And you know this uh, 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 table, uh, oval table, in the uh, uh, 17th century in the uh, uh, French court, in the European court. The very good place are in the middle. On the, uh, uh, at the end of the table, people can only have and take because there is nobody to serve. They have to serve themselves. That means I am in the middle. That's a good place. I invite people in front of me. And at the end of the dinner, we said, oh, this guy is very important. He's very brilliant. Yes, because I am in the middle of the network. Middle of the network of the distribution of food. I said, oh, my, yes, please, take a piece. And if I would like to humiliate you, I don't send you the, the food. And I, I oblige you to say, could you give me the, yes, I can, with pleasure, my friend. And at the end of the day, I can have a discussion. When I am in the middle, I have a lot of solutions. I can speak with people in front of me. I can speak, I can let the people beside me to have a discussion, or I can decide, I will cut the discussion. All that is the social context. And this social context, how we can manipulate it to understand how the connection will uh, develop it and how the, what kind of influence of the experience. So at the end of the day, a meal where a lot of people we have uh, uh, contribute to demonstrate that 
a meal is first a social event. A social event, and we need to take that into account. We are not selling carrot, we are not selling beef, we are not selling what you want. But we are selling a context where people can have an hedonic degustation, people can have good time. What I ate in a restaurant is when the waiter tell me, have a good degustation. Yeah, I'm not here to have a degustation. I'm here to have a good time with my friend. I'm here to, to spend, to have an event, a social event. The degustation is a part, could be a part. Have good time, please. That's more important. And we sell that. We sell happiness. We sell food, but for more than food. So it's a social event. What it means? There is some uh, social interaction, and there is a big body of knowledge to analyze that. There is some mimetism. That means we have a, a influence between people. We have contamination. Very interesting to see a school canteen with the children. One said, ah, it's not good. Oh, oh, I don't want. And the influence by peers is very interesting to analyze. How we can take that into account to change, make evolve. The second generation could be a place where we can try to manipulate this uh, different uh, uh, context. Could be also a place where we can reactive some paradigm. And one of, the, of this paradigm could be the facial recognition. Uh, could be a place where we can do cross-disciplinary uh, scientific uh, project. I can begin by that. Uh, uh, there is two very classical texts. One from, from Charles Darwin and another, another one from a psychoanalyst, uh, 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 American psychoanalyst called Andras Angal. And this uh, quite old text was uh, uh, working on the emotion, the expression of the emotion in man and animals for Darwin and uh, uh, for Angal, disgust and related aversion. Uh, this body of knowledge was uh, used by all a very uh, good chapter, book chapter of uh, uh, Paul uh, begin with this, uh, the presentation of these two texts. I invite you to read it, and I will give you the, uh, the reference. So this question is uh, reactivated in uh, uh, 72 uh, by uh, uh, Paul Ekman. And he tried to understand how we can use the muscle of the face. And there is a 43 muscle of the face. And try to see how we can uh, use it to understand some different emotion. He tried to identify some basic emotion. So this question was uh, interesting because it opened diff different discussion, uh, scientific discussion. The first one was in the uh, psychology of development. How a child uh, began uh, begin to understand that the people in front of him have emotion. And how he, he, he recognized that there is a person in front of him. And he, he can begin to have interaction. The second uh, question was, that's the beginning, the early beginning of the automatic recognition. It was used in the airport in the uh, uh, US. Honestly, it was not really a success. But the idea was to try to see if we can by the, uh, looking at the face with a camera, recognize people who prepare a bad, uh, uh, bad things. And uh, the idea to control and to use that for security was in the air. And the last discussion, very big discussion uh, for the anthropologists was, is there an universal dimension of the emotion? Or the emotion are framed by the culture and by the ethnicity. OK? And this question uh, 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 was, uh, OK. This question allowed 
uh, another scientist to uh, develop a mapping of emotion and try to see how we can have a, a, a different kind of emotion, starting from the seven emotion. You can see a piece of science, I don't know, or something like that, uh, uh, with uh, not very far the seven uh, 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 tone uh, a note in the in music and try oh it's uh, uh, reorganized. So we keep that in mind. A second uh, uh, a theoretical uh, question appears with uh, the work of Steiner. Steiner tr tried to an uh, analyze the reflex gusto facio. That means you take a baby and you put on the uh, tongue of a baby uh, a piece of sugar or you put a piece of uh, lemon juice and you look at the face and the face uh, uh, shows some reflex. And uh, 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 he can show, or uh, uh, other uh, researchers sh show, that it's the same for uh, uh, some primates and so for certain animals. And we have some uh, uh, reflex for uh, uh, the disgust. OK, uh, in fact, this question comes from quite far in Germany. Uh, in the 19th century, in the Gestalt theory, uh, there was uh, the beginning of this uh, 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 reflection. Again, three main fields of application, psychology of development, uh, uh, this question, how uh, uh, there is an evolution in the expression of the uh, uh, gustative emotion, uh, uh, psychology of test, and uh, a big debate in the primatology. Okay, some researcher like Mati Kiva shows that uh, when you put a, a, a camera in front of the child and in front of the mother, uh, some years after or for some months after, what you can see is uh, when the mother feeds the child, the face of the mother takes some different expression regarding the food she gives to the child. And in fact, there is an imitation between the mother and, and, and the child. There is some reflex, but there is a, an evolution and the interaction between the mother. And there is very, very nice piece of work showing this interaction. So the cultural dimension of this question could be, for a part, there is an, in, an universal dimension of the expression. But there is a, a strong evolution and a semantization of the experience. And this is what it means, a semantization. That means we associate to the perception, with the sensation, we associate meaning, value, positive or negative experience. And this semantization <coughs> is different regarding one culture or another culture. Imagine uh, uh, to learn how to like and to aesthetize the relation with Chile is a long uh, 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 exercise to be able to do that. At the present time, new boxes are opening with uh, epigenetic. We are exploring this question also. I close just to, to, to tell. Uh, the experience of the test begins early than the birth. That means in the belly of the mother, there is some experience and probably the, uh, what the mother is eating during the pregnancy has some influence on the uh, 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 capacity to, to, uh, to feel. So, the social interaction between the mother and after with the different actors reinforce and develop the semantization. I know that in the room there is some people who know the wine. I just would like to take one, the Chateau Chalon. Chateau Chalon is a Jura wine. And the first time you invite somebody to drink, he don't like. Because there is a very big difference between the smell and the taste. It smells like a nuts. It smells like a rancio. But, ah, my god, the, the, the taste is dry. Like a little bit noy prat. But you, you, you need to spend time to like that. You need to. You need to be initiated. It's like the same with blue cheese. 
It's like the same with coffee. It's like the same with uh, different kind of, of, of things. You need to have social interaction. Have a look like a, a, a young child learn to uh, uh, eat chili. In certain countries, no, no, don't. When he's young, don't touch that. It's not for, for baby. And he earns an adult speaking about that. Not exactly directly, but the guy who is able to uh, uh, eat a lot of chili is supposed to have uh, some quality and uh, some quality I cannot uh, express in public. But everybody understands. Same for the lady. A lady able to uh, uh, eat hot food and so on. Now I am seven years old. I can begin to eat some uh, uh, chili and everybody knows what will happen. I will cry. Uh, it will be difficult. Uh, my head will explode. But I am the center of the social event. Everybody look at me and help me and receive me in a new social status. So this question is the socialization, the semantization of this experience. So we can see the importance of the social interaction to aesthetize and recognize as interesting. Uh, uh, back to my Chateau Chalon, eh, this wine that nobody uh, uh, likes when it's more expensive than a champagne. And the people who know that uh, uh, like to buy it. And I, I, I have a good friend of mine, he said, OK, no need to drink Chateau Chalon with somebody we, who don't know what is it. Eh, we need to be initiated. So we have a lot of expectation with our colleagues. And I know that uh, perhaps they will uh, uh, answer positively or not. We have begun the debate yesterday and the day before. OK. Uh, Everybody have an iPhone. Everybody used to put the face, the picture of his friend. And a few minutes after, we can have some proposition of the name. And 80% of the case, it's right. It's the guy. How they work. In a few seconds, they are able to recognize the face. So there is a new technology. It was not developed for that. This technology was developed to have an autofocus on the camera, was developed to recognize the face on, on Facebook, was developed to, def to do uh, security. How we can open the discussion with this scientist working on this field to see if it is possible to go on the facial recognition, but not only the emotion, but the food emotion, the gustative emotion. You can see the uh, box beginning to open. That's the first thing. We can have a flow of data on this question. The second dimension, I don't know, we'll have discussion this afternoon also. We spend a lot of time to analyze the social interaction. For example, who is uh, in contact with who, and it's very difficult. For example, in a focus group or in, a, in this situation, we have two or three observers, we have the camera, we discuss after, I saw that, I saw that. Yes, imagine, I dream, that at the end of the hour, we can say, because the different camera follow you face. OK, during the meal, 20, during 20 time, we have a eye contact with Florence, but only five times with Ismail. Okay, it's not to analyze, but it's begin to give to us some data. Okay, we can have, okay, during the meal, seven times, she uh, takes uh, this position. OK, take distance with the table. Or discussing with me, OK, she, she come to me. And the body, OK, you can see how we can perhaps develop some analyze. It's not the interpretation. It helps the interpretation. So uh, uh, the research project could 
mobilize five more uh, 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 theoretical topics, uh, uh, facial recognition of emotion, uh, uh, reflex gusto facio, social interaction, and this new technology called neuronal facial recognition. So, what could be a research project? In fact, we have two uh, uh, main uh, uh, domain. The first one is the core domain in food studies with the two dimensions. The first one is the individu individual dimension. The knowledge is not enough to go directly to the social interaction. That means we have to work on a catalog of gustative emotion. We have to work on the facial recognition and how we can track the practices. The second uh, uh, field could be the social interaction uh, during the meal and uh, try to understand the mimetic or mimetism and the contamination of emotion. And the last topic could be the uh, comparative analysis between uh, uh, Europe and Asia and in Asia uh, between the different uh, uh, groups. But there is a second flow. And uh, uh, Florence, uh, today, uh, ago, tell us, okay, don't imagine we, you will find uh, 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 tools to do, what you, are do what, what you want to do. There is some tools, but there is a gap between the tools and what we, you, will, you will like to do. And we will, we will have to develop a new software to extend the software and, and to work uh, in the technology. And in the technology, there is the hardware and the techniques of captation, and there is the algorithm, the software, where there is a, a, a works to do. We can see the really interdisciplinary perspective, not only the degustation. We can do degustation. It's very important. And we can speak about. But we can add a new flow of data to uh, have a better understanding. Just some few words about that's a dream also. Probably at the beginning, uh, the facial recognition will ask to have a, a people a camera. If we have three people, three camera. More, but how we can imagine uh, 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 the place to make the camera invisible or to allow it to forget that uh, quickly. What is in, 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 interesting is uh, the facial recognition in the security. When you have the signature of the face, with some point, and we call that the neuronal signature of the face. After the guy can move the face, and you have, but there is an angle, you have the signature. Is it possible to develop something regarding the facial expression of the test emotion? Because the problem with a meal, people speak, people masticate, and the face is moving. The last uh, 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 question to our colleague coming from uh, computer science is a question of how we can escape or shortcut the, uh, uh, the way between the interview, what people say, what we can record with a micro, to the word file. You know, the student, how many time you spend to uh, 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 transcript the uh, interview. Is it possible to imagine that we can go directly from the voice to the word file? Imagine the time we can, uh, 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 we can share. That's the question we will ask to our colleague from computer science. I will finish by some example of research, but it's only a, a small list. Eh? We can open the list. Okay, 
the food socialization. That means how people learn to, uh, 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 to eat, to like, and uh, we can uh, have a, a, a situation with a relation mother and child, uh, early experience, uh, and all along the, the life. Uh, food in hospital, for example, in Toulouse, the hospital is partner uh, of the, this research and uh, will uh, uh, pay uh, the room uh, for the experimentation uh, for the uh, food in a medicalized context. Food and hygiene. Hygiene is a, a, a fantastic uh, uh, research uh, uh, field in food. In food, because uh, we have to learn all along the life, and uh, the end of the life is allowed and asked to us. Sorry, not allowed. Asked to us to make a lot of new learning experience. I, I, I follow my father at the end of the, his life, and uh, okay, there is a couple with a. Uh, uh, some roles. One of uh, the boss disappear. We need to reorganize that. Uh, who is cooking? Uh, what other experience you have? And slowly the cognitive uh, uh, performance degrees. And to cook is very important. Cooking. And we was very proud in the past in France to do what we call portage à domicile. That means we, in a central kitchen, we do the meal and we, say, we send the meal at home. And we was very proud to say, OK, we can maintain people in the normal living. Yes. But when we analyze that, immediately after we send the food, in the week, the cognitive decline go faster. Because no reason to do anything just to go out to buy the, the bread and to count, maintain the cognitive capacity. To open the gas and to, to eat something, maintain the cognitive capacity and the movement. Now, just have to wait and to eat. And we have a room of improvement, incredible room of improvement. In between, I can do all and we will feed me with a, 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 a global meal. In between, there is a lot of convenience and uh, uh, so how we can manage that? Aging and, uh, 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 and food. And the connection, I go now in a hospitalized hotel or hospitalized uh, 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 institution. Also, a lot of things to, to learn. We have a lot of naive vision of this situation. Uh, uh, so, obese people, for example, after a bariatric chirurgy, how to go back to the uh, normal eating behavior. So, disabled children. For example, we have a PhD student working on the autist uh, children. And the, one of the characteristics of these children is to have a very specificity, a big specificity in the eating behavior. They eat only a certain color or a certain texture. And it's very difficult for the parents. And there is two dimensions. How the children are But what are the consequences on the family? How the family deal with that? To invite people, to, to maintain the, the child. Uh, so that's the fundamental, or uh, uh, the socialization. The second one, more concrete and more linked with uh, our business, is the question of uh, how we can develop some test evaluation, degustation in a context. How we can develop, and let me finish with uh, 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 Paul Perret. I give some words this morning. It was, uh, I don't know if it is uh, new Ferran Adria. You know that I'm not so excited by the gastronomy molecular, because I like to eat, not only to have experience. Uh, but Paul is doing something uh, uh, interesting. He was elected the food personality of the year, this year. 
And uh, I will just show you a small movie uh, uh, on the uh, ultraviolet restaurant. The idea of the second uh, kind of application is to see how we can move to uh, uh, the restaurant context and how we can uh, 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 use this uh, multi uh, 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 sensoriality in the experience. The next discussion now is to try to see how we can of this different level, how we can improve the speed, how we can have a, not only a, an applied program, but some theoretical problem uh, uh, to address with this kind of lab, and uh, how we can deal with our colleague in uh, computer science. Uh, uh, because at the same time, we have some problematic, and we ask to them, to them some solution. But the solution they have uh, uh, can change our problematic, because they are able to produce some uh, uh, data uh, useful, and we have prob probably not in mind the kind of data they are able to produce. You are very patient. We will continue a little bit, because uh, there is two or three uh, images I would like to show. Uh, uh, it's probably uh, 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 in the line of gastronomy molecular uh, another revolution. That means you change the context of, uh, uh, of the meal uh, by uh, making uh, uh, the environment uh, uh, changing. You have a lot of image in the table, around. And uh, uh, people who uh, experience that say, we, we, cannot, we cannot explain what happened. It's really uh, uh, an experience. So I, I, will, I will give you some uh, biographic information of this guy. Uh, he, he, he began his study by to study medical because his father would like to become a doctor. So and he, he, he told me I was boring in the medical school, boring, boring, boring. And so he, he, he came to the hotel school of Toulouse. Uh, he, he, we have not a lot of people coming from medical, so he was a little bit uh, a star in the school eh? because they have a, a scientific. Uh, background, and uh, he began to learn, and uh, uh, at this time he was uh, doing the beginning of the experimental approach of cuisine, and he, he was very interested by that. He, he, he takes that, and uh, he leaves France to work in uh, uh, Australia. And it was the early beginning of the nouvelle cuisine in Australia. I remember when he came back, he was extremely excited by, by what he discovered in Australia. Uh, like a new world opening for him. That means we, we know what, what was the nouvelle cuisine in France. Uh, taking, for example, the local tradition with a new... V. But not only the local tradition, everywhere we can, we can do nouvelle cuisine. And he said, okay, we can do that in in Japan, we can do that in Australia, and so on. He tried to come back in France and said, well, I cannot stay here now. I need to go uh, outside France. And he, he, he developed a career in different places, and now he's in Shanghai. He's one of the 15 best restaurants in the world, uh, and uh, he, he, he goes his, uh, his way. Welcome WVP stars to Ultraviolet by Paul Perret. My name is Greg Robinson. I'm the head sous chef of Ultraviolet. And I, uh, it is my pleasure to introduce you to the project. And we're going to start with the dining room. This is the dining room at its bare minimum. Ultraviolet is a project. It is a dinner, a 22-course meal, and we serve 10 guests per night, five nights a week, and only one meal per night. Each meal is 22 courses. It is paired with a beverage pairing. And Ultraviolet enhances the dining experience by incorporating visuals, being video or wallpaper, sound, smells, all to lift the food 
to its maximum. We're starting here with the intro scenario. This scenario is not paired with the food. This is the first scenario they will see before the first dish arrives. There are no staff from Ultraviolet inside the room at this time. This is in preparation for us to begin to finalize the first dish and at the same time to open up the senses from the guests that are in the dining room. Thanks, it's been a good count. 25 seconds and counting, we are still with goal. 20 seconds, guidance alert, the guidance system now going internal. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. Launch connect. Lift off. We have lift off with the final of 13. Three minutes past the hour. The tower is quick. We don't have enough time to show you all of the dishes, so I'm going to run you through several examples from our second menu, UVB. The first being the oyster du. This is an oyster inside of its shell with pepper, lemon, caviar, and then covered with a very thin layer of a seawater ice. So uh, we stop. You can see how uh, they, they can use uh, uh, the influence of the context uh, in uh, uh, the gastronomic experience. Thank you very much. We, it just begins this afternoon. We will have a, a, a lot of other communication and discussion all together. Thank you. Have a good lunch. And see you this afternoon. <laughs>